much would you pay for a single tweet or viral meme? Hundreds? Millions? Welcome to the world of NFTs. Let me explain. NFT stands for non-fungible token, which if you're unfamiliar with cryptocurrency, probably doesn't mean much. So let's start with the word fungible. When an item is fungible, it can be exchanged or replaced like a dollar for another dollar. But NFTs are non-fungible, meaning the items are unique, kind of like rare trading cards. That's the first part. The T or token represents things like streamed videos, digital artwork, or social media posts. Virtually anything virtual. Still with me? NFTs were created to identify online ownership, essentially the deed to a virtual collector's item. Most tokens are bought with cryptocurrency, though some websites do take cold hard cash if you have enough of it. Because while NFTs exist mostly in cyberspace, their price tags are gaining real-world attention. This digital collage by artist Beeple sold for $69 million. The very first tweet, a mere $2.5 million. At this point, you're probably wondering, who would pay that, right? Well, experts say in addition to bragging rights, non-fungible tokens create clear ownership of digital files, and those files can continue to be resold for profit. But before you start investing in virtual real estate, you should be aware of what's not included. NFTs don't offer copyright protection, so even if you purchase the Mona Lisa of the internet world, just like the real life Da Vinci, you can still view, copy, or photograph it. Well, there you have it, the world of NFT. Understand it now? Let us know in the comments below.